if we needed this functionality on another form, what would we have to duplicate? Well, pretty much all of it, all of the Alpine component data in here, the fact that when this form gets submitted, we want to execute, e.g. call this execute function, and we'd also have to go ahead and copy over the hidden input in here. The rest of it is dealt with by the post controller because of course we can implement this validation rule very easily on any of our controllers. So ideally what we want is some kind of component that we can really easily slip into this form and then pretty much just have everything work nicely. So let's go ahead and do that by creating out a blade component. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a component in here. And of course we're gonna call this recapture. Okay, so let's first of all, just go ahead and delete the component that's been created just here. We don't need that. We've just literally got the component inside of here. So for this, let's go and just say component. If you're not familiar with blade components, what this is gonna allow us to do now is do exactly what we just spoke about. So I can say X recapture onto here. That's pretty much what we wanna do. And if we head over to the browser, there we go. We have that component text in there that we just saw. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this input over to that recapture component because that's one of the things that we need inside of here. And of course we want to move somehow all of this Alpine code over and still have this work. So let's go ahead and grab all of X data inside of here and let's go over and just put this onto this div. So let's pull this down and just pull that in there. And let's just do a quick re-indent. So what we can do with this instead is we don't have access to this execute method inside of here anymore. So what we do instead now is go ahead and dispatch an event. So let's say dispatch and let's dispatch recapture. And then over on our component, which we can use anywhere, we can go ahead and listen for this event on this div. So we're gonna go ahead and say X on recapture. And this is a window event. So we're gonna specify window in here. And when that does happen, we're gonna go ahead and call execute. For now, let's just go ahead and get rid of all of this code and just do a console log and just say works, just so we can see that this is actually still working. Okay, let's go ahead and head over to the browser, hit create post, and that looks like it's actually submitting through. That's just because we need to set X data in here. We can set that empty. Let's hit create post and there we go. So what's actually happening is we're saying, well, when we submit this particular form, we wanna go ahead and call the uh, capture execute method. But of course that is hidden away in this component just here, which we have put conveniently within our form. So really the only couple of things that we need to do is add this and add this and we have this working. So we can go ahead and bring that code back for Google recapture and refs is gonna remain the same because this is directly within this component here. The only problem we have here is this L references this div and we can't submit a div. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna say this L closest and give the tag name, which is form. So that's then gonna submit that through. Let's go over, hit create post, and there we go. That looks like it worked. So that would have set the token, submitted it through, and of course it's hit that API and worked nicely. So we know that that's working. Now we have another issue here. We know that when we submit this through to Google, we have this action in here, which we have now hard coded within this potentially reusable component. We don't want that to happen. We don't want it to be hard coded in. So we're gonna go ahead and define some props for this blade component, and that is action. By default, we'll set that to submit, but what we can now do is go and replace that directly within here. So let's go ahead and replace that with action. And now if we want to go ahead and change this, what we can do is say action something else, and that will go ahead and update that code accordingly. Let's go ahead and inspect this element and find it, and you can see there we go. Sure enough, our action is something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as its default for now, but you can now update that if you need to. 